guys of React. I hope you had a wonderful day. Today we're going to be reacting to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 2 episode 21. This is the first part of the two parts episode so without further ado let's dive into this reaction. There's moments in your life that make you, that set the course of who you're gonna be. Sometimes they're little Flashback? subtle moments. Who was that? Is it Angel? Darla? Look at her without this stupid outfit. Your station doing alone in an alley with a reputation that this one has. What's up with the accents? I've never been anywhere in myself. I always wanted to see the world, but I could show you. Oh, she's a vampire and she's about to turn you. Okay, this is sexual, like not weird at all. No one just showing high and jealous. The way he lurks in the shadow just watches with this smirk in his face. Oh yeah, finals. Why didn't you let me die? Yeah, look on the bright side. It'll all be over soon. Yes, my love. It will. It was nice to see when he exactly turned and how and he didn't seem like a very good guy like Angel is. It just like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, he looked like this drunk kid of neighborhood, something like this. And it's nice to see Dala like looks much more than we first got to see. Like, she was dull and stupid, and like with this weird voice and stupid outfit. Like, and here she looks more mature. And the accent was it Irish? I figured it was solid. What do you think is in it? Don't wanna know, to be honest. Well, I guess we won't know until we open mm, it up. Something bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, with a new yeah, hair color. Uh, I was a little unclear about some of the. I think that Green was at his peak, like back then, yeah, the talking about his career. I wish people would stop asking me that. Yes, I'm ready. I'm also willing and able. Uh, Buffy. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed she is sitting on his lap. And you? Are you having a chair shorter? <laughs> I didn't read anything about. Oh. <laughs> How about because you're a tiny, impotent Nazi with a bug up his bed the size of Nemo? Sums it up. Yeah. It's been two days since my last confession. A terrible fright. My stomach all tied up and I saw this horrible crash. Oh my god, she was here even before she became a vampire. This is creepy and cruel. My seeing things is an affront to the Lord that only he's supposed to see anything before it happens. But I don't mean to, Father, I swear. Oh, poor so Fulfill his plan, child. Be evil. Just give in. No. I want to be good. I want to be pure. We all do at first. This is disturbing. He is Satan in disguise. Just saying. Oh my god, this transition. I met an old man. I didn't like him. He got stuck in my teeth. <laughs> Something coming. Oh yeah. museum a tomb you can see all that in your head no you nanny she read it in the morning <laughs> soon it'll stop soon it'll scream when in the real world am i ever gonna need chemistry or history or math me me language huh? hold that thought <gasps> i just i totally forgot about it deja vu Did she have a vision about it? When? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy. Oh, was this the gypsy girl that he killed? Where am I? You don't remember everything you've done for a hundred years. In a moment, you will. I don't. I don't. No. Aww. Looks like Miss Calendar was trying to replicate the original curse to restore Angel's soul again. And he killed her before doing it. Well, she tried anyway. So he killed her before she could tell anyone about it. What a prince, huh? This is good, right? I mean, we can curse him again. 
I've been going through her files and and researching the black arts for fun or educational fun, and I may be able to work this. Whoa! I'm perspective guy. Angel's a killer. Sander. And jealous is the killer, not Angel. What? All is forgiven. I can't believe you people. Curing Angel seems to have been Jenny's last wish. Yeah, well, Jenny's dead. Okay, you bitch. Stop it! Stop it! He's being so insensitive. Too much. He might be speaking logic. Maybe he has some rights into it. But, like, we know the reason why. We know the reason why he's doing this. He's doing this out of jealousy. And he's being too insensitive. Look at Giles. He's the one who lost his girlfriend at the hands of Angelus and he's not being insensitive. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. Oh, the rain. You know, polite Kendra! people fall before they jump out of the bushes and attack you. Just wanted to test your reflexes. I'm about testing my face punching because I think you'll find it some through. I was on my way to your house. I can't wait to tell my friends. I have a rock this big. Spike boy, you never did learn your history. Bee fills my head. I can't hear anything else. Let me guess. Someone pulls out the sword. Someone worthy. The demon wakes up and wackiness ensues. Do you hate the word that much? Everything on earth into that dimension. Where any non-demon life will suffer horrible and mm. terrible torment. That would be the literal kind of sucked into hell. Angel should be eliminated. No, I'll fight him. I'll kill him if I have to. But if I don't get there in time, or if I lose, then Willow might be our only hope. I don't want to be our only hope. I, I crumble under pressure. Let's have another hope. We have. If all else fails, this might stop it. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> An orb of Thessala? Whatever that is. Spirit vault for rituals of the undead. I've got one. I've been using it as a paperweight. They can't help you study for tomorrow's final. Oh, Jenny and the uh, magic like shop owner. Nice well, call back. Another flashback. Oh my god, he looks like a homeless chick. Oh, poor thing. Why does he look like that? Why is this man? Uh, this is the stench of death you're giving off here. And the look says... Who are you? Crazy homeless guy. It's not good. Get away from me. It's so sad. Vampire with a soul. My name's Whistler. There you go. Thanks. Anyway, lately it is. I want you to see something. You see? And then you tell me what you want to do. What's happening? This episode is too much information. Dad, you want me to go to the dance in an outfit I've already worn? Why do you hate me? Tyler, Buffy post vampire slayer? Tyler would have to crawl on his hands and knees to get me to go to the dance with him. Hi. Call me. Buffy! Call me. He knew her way before they met. Buffy Summers? Yeah. She looks Very like Cordelia. You must come with me. Your destiny awaits. I don't have a destiny. I'm destined This is when she got the call? Was he like a... Her first watcher or something? Because I know she got a first watcher before Giles. Oh, not the heart. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, Angel? That is talking. And this is how the troubles begun. Angel, this is definitely stalking. <laughs> Oh my god, look at Angel. He, he looks, feels her, empathizes with her. She's not tough, that Slayer. She's just a kid. A world full of big bad things. I want to help her. I want. I want to become someone. Oh. She must be pretty in the last Slayer. Still, who's this person? I know his view, but like. What is his role in this? Like, how did he know about Buffy lost. and that she was going to get her call, you know? Act. We will be free. Someone wasn't worthy. Damn it! <laughs> this is so 
so disappointing. <laughs> as long as Angel's fighting me, then he can't do this end of the world ritual thingy, and that's a good. Well, what do you think? I just want to cross check. We don't have time. If this is going to work, it has to work now. So why is he calling Buffy? No. This is my lucky stick. I've killed many vampires with it. Kendra! I call it Mr. Pointy. You named your steak? Yes. You want me to get you a stuffed animal? They have like a special bond because they're both. Hello, lover. I wasn't sure you'd come. You're facing the same thing? After your immolation, oh, Grant? What are you trying to do, Jonathan? You have to show. Shouldn't you be out destroying the world right now, pulling the sword out of Al Franken or whatever his name is? That's time enough. Yeah. I wanted to say goodbye first. You are the one thing in this dimension I will miss. Gosh, I, I was hoping we can get back together. What do you think? Do we have a shot? Uh, right. sorry. Oh, this is a freaking trap. He won both out of... I knew it. I had a feeling. Oh my god, they hurt him badly. Willow, Xander. Buffy, it's all a distraction. Me, with your heart not in this. This wasn't about you. This was never about you. And you fall for it every single time. Drew. Uh, come on, this is not a fair fight. No, this is not a fair fight. Oh my god, it's the first time I see Drusilla fighting. Look at me, Terry. No, no, she can she can control mine. Like hypnosis? Drusilla is so dangerous. Where did you keep? Oh, Giles. Okay, Bottom okay, line okay, is, okay. Even if you see him coming, you're not ready for the big moments. This no is one Angel's asks for voice. the to change. Oh my god. Freeze! You'll see what I mean. Oh my god, the feels that was so freaking sad. Poor Kendra. She barely made it a year after becoming Slayer. And it was so nice to have her like her and Buffy like made a connection that she couldn't have with other people because yeah, she has Willow, she has Giles, she has Xander, but like no one could understand how really it feels to be the Slayer other than Kendra, so it was nice to have her so Buffy wouldn't feel alone in this world and the way she died, oh my god. Drusilla is so freaking dangerous, like she has mind uh, control powers and she is a seer. And the thing is, we have just two people with gifts like seeing the future, visions uh, and all. We have Drusilla and Buffy, which makes me wonder. I don't know if all Slayers had the same ability like Buffy. I don't know if Kendra was able to see visions as well. We didn't see that, but we know for a fact that Buffy can. So I'm like, imagine if Drusilla was meant to be vampire slayer somehow before she became a vampire just an, an idea that crossed my mind but like having visions being able to mind control people that makes her dangerous and she is so scary like she is more scary than other like than any other vampire out there the hypnosis the insanity the clairvoyance and and a really frightening style that make a scary combination and jealous is right there with her but he's like another type of uh, frightening and scary monster he has some things in common with drew but like he got some things that like that only defines him you know what i mean whereas spike with his sense of humor he is to be honest he's not scary at all wow angel knew buffy way before they 
officially met. We got to see flashbacks about like how she, how Buffy got her call and how she was acting like pretty much like Cordelia. I know about it, like I know about it because I read the plot of the actual movie and I know that her character was pretty much like Cordelia back in LA. And you know how like there's where like her troubles begun and you can, I don't know if, I, I, I won't say that she was responsible, she's not responsible. They've just take her as an excuse to fight you know what I mean? I'm talking about her parents. They've just used her as an excuse to just argue. You can see that, that they got trouble on their relationship and they used Buffy and her troubles as an excuse to, you know, bring that up. It's crazy to see that Giles is not Buffy's first watcher. Just like feels weird. And I loved how Angel seemed like like as he watched as he was watching Buffy, he seemed like uh, emotional, sympathetic, as if he like felt this kindred young spirit who seemed fated to shoulder that um, tremendous burden alone. And this is what Angel was like. You can see that Angel always understood the amount of pressure that Buffy has and we can see now where this is coming from so Xander, Xander, Xander mm, even if Xander was speaking logic and somewhat he was right he was still being so insensitive first towards Buffy and towards Giles as well I look at Angel and Angelus as two different characters yeah Angel is now jealous, is a bad person, he killed Jenny. Even if we did bring him back, there's always this chance that he'll turn evil again. But come on, be more sensitive to this. This is not like black and white. Yeah, I know, even if we did succeed at bringing him back, like, things would not be the same. Uh, it would not be like rainbows and unicorns but you're asking a girl to kill her boyfriend that she loves think about what this could do to her like think about it especially knowing that she had a chance to bring him back but instead she chose to kill him and honestly i feel like his jealousy and uh, his hate to angel and buffy's relationship are playing a big part in how they in how he's acting right now plus we can't forget that angel was a powerful weapon against the the, the forces of evil so don't you feel that bringing him back is worth the shot i so don't like how xander was acting anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed my reaction see you in the next part Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be reacting to season 2 finale of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm so excited to finish the season and start season 3. Well, I definitely know I'm going to cry this episode, but I do feel like we're going to get Angel back this episode. And I'm very excited about this. Honestly, it's crazy to say that I'm going to miss like just a little bit, just a little bit Angelus and his sadistic insanity but I'm not gonna hope for him to come back, just saying <laughs> anyways, without further ado, let's dive into reaction yeah, the freaking police, how in the hell did they learn about this? I didn't do anything why do I find that so very hard to believe? it's neither Buffy Summers, if there's trouble, she's behind it years old suspect is very dangerous this is so messed up like how we can make things even more screwed up here it is she's really in a bad place right now it's crazy Sander I was so worried I didn't know if you were okay what's up with him what is it Willa oh no the doctor said it was head trauma this is the first time the guy has got hurt. It's us now. Oh, man. You need to call him. You okay? I ran. <laughs> I think I made it through three counties before I realized nobody was chasing me. 
Not too brave. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, Cordelia. Uh, I won't like this. Oh my god. I want to torture you. I had a feeling. Angel, you're gonna make it so He's hard on people when you get back. I figure you know the ritual. You're pretty up on these things. You could probably tell me what I'm doing wrong. But honestly, I sort of hope you don't. Because I really want to torture you. Your daughter has a history of violence. Well, Xander is conscious. He can speak for her and tell them the truth that she wasn't the one who did it. Doesn't she, Miss Summers? Oh my god, this is... this is... everything is screwed up. Poor Buffy. No, no, he's a good guy. Hello to the imagery. Oh. Very nice. She's going through a lot. Nobody saw you coming. I figured this for Angel's big day. But I thought he was here to stop Akatha. Not to bring him forth. Then you two made with the smoochies. Now he's a creep again. And what are you gonna do? Whatever I have to. Maybe I should ask, what are you prepared to give up? In the end, you're always by yourself. You're all you've got. That's, Aww, that's sad The sword isn't here. enough. You gotta be ready. You gotta know how to use it. So he didn't say something useful. What the heck? Oh my god, don't treat her like a freaking criminal. Hello, cutie. Sorry, what? <laughs> Fuego, quit. We need to clear this up for you. We're mortal enemies. We don't get timeouts. You want to go around pet Oliver Gay all time of it? You want to stop Angel? We're gonna to have to play this a bit differently. Oh, okay. I knew Spike he had enough of Angelus, but like asking Buffy to team up, this is something I've never expected. Okay, you do remember that you're a vampire, right? <laughs> we like to talk big. Vampires do. I'm going to destroy the world. It's just tough guy talking. <laughs> The truth is, I like this world. They're not say that Spike don't strike me as someone who wants the world destroyed. I said it like so many times. Okay, and I'm loving this conversation right now. And I love um, the timbre of his voice speaking to her. Like it's something about like the timbre of his voice. And uh, with the accent and all, you know what I mean? It's not like trying to act tough with her, you know? I want Drew back. Ah. Uh, I want it like it was before he came back. When she acts around him. Whole Earth may be sucked into hell and you want my help because your girlfriend's a big hoe? <laughs> well, let me take this opportunity to not care. You're my best friend. You've always... I love you. Is it I love you as a best friend or why do I feel like it's something more here? Oh, didn't you call us? I'm gonna go get it back. And I love that the first line. The first name she speak is Oz. Someone will think that she's gonna like say Xander, but like she's also she's she's over Xander right now, and she is totally in love with with the Oz. Oh. Damn it, he looks sexy. Oh my God, you already. How you holding up? Oh, Giles. Never. Glad you. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, you're sexy, but you're fucking evil. Buffy, terrible things have happened. What were you doing? What, your mom doesn't know? Know what? Yeah. That I'm, uh, in a band. Me, every day. Spike here. Right, she plays the, the, triangle. Wait, what? Wait, Hell on the old skin. And, uh, what do you do? Well, the same. Are you gonna invite Spike inside? I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Joyce, it's now or never. Did I freaking say before? I love this freaking team up. It's crazy. Spike and Buffy working together. I'm a vampire slayer. Thank God. 
Finally! About time! I'm awake, and I know my name, and who's president, and how many fingers. So, they don't think my brain got mushed at all. <laughs> Thank God. I'm sorry I didn't get to cure Angel. Don't be. It just wasn't meant to be. I know I'm never gonna get him back the way he was. <laughs> Spike sitting in Buffy's living room <laughs> with her mother. <laughs> What's happening in the freaking world? Have we met? Uh, you hit me with an axe one time. Oh! Remember, uh, get the hell away from my daughter. <laughs> God, this is amazing. Let me and Drew skip town. I help you kill Angel. Angel, your boyfriend. <laughs> Forget about Drusilla. She doesn't work. There's no deal without Drew. She killed Kendra. No, he's doing all of this because of Drew, so don't push it, Bobby. Drew bagged a slayer? <laughs> she didn't tell me. It could be. <laughs> Though not from your perspective. Honey, are, are you sure you're a vampire slayer? Oh, freaking God. took her out of the country. You'll never hear from us again. I bloody well know. <laughs> I, I mean, have you tried not being a slayer? Mom, you ready to back me up? Uh, excuse me, <laughs> I swear to God, did you just said, have you tried not being a slayer? It's because you didn't have a strong father figure, isn't it? It's just fate, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna slap my head in the wall right now. Have you ever tried not being a slayer? Okay, is this because you don't have a strong father figure? But why is this whole conversation remind me of like a coming out for a teenage gay? Because, or is this a metaphor by Joss? Sorry, mom, but I don't have time for this. No, I am tired of I don't have time or, or you wouldn't understand. I am your mother and you will make time to explain yourself. I told you, I'm a vampire slayer. Well, I just don't accept that. Okay, I'm really hating on Josh right now. Explain yourself. What do you think has been going on for the past two years? The fights, the weird occurrences. How many times have you washed blood out of my clothing and you still haven't figured it out? Well, it stops now. No, it doesn't stop. Do, do you think I chose to be like this? Do you have any idea how lonely it is? But I have to save the world. This is insane. Buffy, you need help. I'm not crazy. Oh. All I need is for you to chill. I have to go. Okay. No. You walk out of this house, don't even think about coming back. Um, well, even if you didn't mean it, Joyce, this was the worst thing you can do to your daughter. And I feel like this whole conversation is really a metaphor for coming out for a teenage gay. And I've been waiting for a freaking two seasons for Joyce to learn the truth about her daughter, about her being, basically being the world's savior. But like, I thought it's gonna be hard on her when she learns the truth, but like, this right now, this, I have nothing to say, seriously, I'm just shook. Look, it's not a good idea. There's no use arguing with me. Do you see my resolve face? You've seen it before, you know what it means. This can help Buffy. If we turn Angel back soon enough, we can stop him from ever awakening a Cathla. In order to be worthy, you must perform the ritual in a tutu. Pillock. Titles. All right. Someone get the chainsaw. Now, now, don't let's lose our temper. Keep out of it, sit and spin. Well, you cut him up, you'll never get your answers. Spike, what are you thinking? No, I didn't do it. He knows. The police will figure it out. In case you haven't noticed, the police of Sunnydale are deeply stupid. Seriously, matter. please someone tell me, why does he hate Buffy so much? Like, yeah, we know his anti-students especially troubled students and this is why he doesn't like Buffy we know that he knows about like mystical energies in the town but like 
the way he's hating on her right now to even try to put her in jail is just too much and for no reason i knew he hated her he didn't like her but seriously but to a point where he's like wanting her to go to jail just like when he obviously knows that she she's not the one who killed Kendra, so what's the deal with him exactly? These are the moments you want to save her. You wish time would stop so that you could live them over and over again. Like I swear to God, it was just like when writing this episode. Was he like, how can I screw up Buffy's life more? That's about it. Seriously. You never ever got a single date in high school, did you? Okay, she's homeless and expelled. Great. Tell the mayor I have good news. Oh, this is so freaking big conspiracy. Okay, no one following. Oh my freaking god. No. Okay, I'm gonna cry. I'm not just gonna cry. I lost you. Can you die crying? Did you tell Angel? I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Angel, just tell me what to do. Drusilla, really? We have to get Angel away from a Catholic. Oh my God, he's mentally so strong. Angel himself. Why Angel is the key? Drusilla, <laughs> you're taking it too far. Uh, Drusilla. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> we are finished here, Dance. Sorry. I was in the moment. Yeah, clearly. The faster you kill Angel, the easier it's gonna be on you. Don't worry about me. It's all on the line here, kid. I can deal. I got nothing left to lose. <sighs> Wrong, kid. You got one more thing. Yeah, Angel. At least tell me, please, we get him back. I still don't know why Angel is the key. Why is his blood? Willow, she told me to tell you. Tell me what? Don't tell me you're gonna hold back. Kick his ass. Okay, he definitely doesn't deserve Buffy's friendship, just saying. Hello, lover. I don't have time for you. <laughs> You don't have a lot of time left. You're playing some deep odds here. Do you really think you can take us all on? No, I don't. Josella! I don't want to hurt you, baby. Oh my god, Josella! Doesn't mean I won't. <laughs> is she really like. Let's not forget, and just is the one who killed her entire family and made her go insane? Was she really going to stand up against Pike for Angelus? Really? That's disappointing, knowing how much he cares about her. Ah, oh, that hurts. I get inside my head, make me see things I want. Then why would they make you see me? <laughs> Good point. All right, let's go. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh. Evil. Rome. Please don't tell me whether performing magic would have consequences on her. Please don't do this. Willow, hurry up. Willow. Are you okay? Hey, hey. Speak English. Oh my god, I'm so not gonna hear it all. God, he's gonna kill her. Do we care? Spike! What the hell? Spike! Who was this old map? No weapons. No friends. Shut up. Take all that away. And what's left? Why is he always speaking the truth? Oh, this irritates me. Me. Oh 
my god, he has no freaking idea. Angel. Oh. You heard. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you in months. Oh. Great, great. What? How will we stop that thing? But like this, uh, uh, how? I love you. I love you. Close your eyes. What the heck is happening right now? Am I having a really, really bad feeling? No. Mother said to her, Don't ever come back to home. I think the spell worked. I felt something go through me. It worked, but it didn't matter anyway. Maybe she had to kill him before the cure could work. <laughs> you wish. Or maybe you wish. I wish. How we can screw up Buffy's life more. Like, wow. She lost freaking everything. Everything. In a freaking single day. This is too much on 17 years old. She's leaving Sunnydale? What a freaking tough choice she had to make. Like she is so strong. You need to be so mentally strong to be able to do that. Especially if you're a 17 years old girl. And look on her face when she realized what she's done and like how am I gonna survive five more seasons of this? And that shift on Angel's face, like, you just instantly know that he got his soul back and it's just crazy. David's performance was amazing. And even Sarah, oh my God, like, the acting was so freaking fantastic, I can't. And the most traumatizing thing for me was that he looked like lost scared boy he didn't remember anything and like and then buffy kills him and at that moment he doesn't even know why it just oh my god this shit is heartbreaking as fuck boy joss whedon is one of the hell cool mofo <laughs> like the thing that killed me the most i when the thing opened in mouth well i, I had a feeling i just couldn't bring myself to believe it especially when i looked at buffy's face i just knew what she was about to do i just couldn't bring myself to believe that it's gonna happen you know what i mean it was happening in front of my eyes and i knew it was gonna, gonna happen anyway but like i was so shocked that it's happening you know what i mean this whole thing was crazy to me deep down you know this is what they're going for and by the look of Buffy's face, you, you know that she's gonna do it. I was like, so didn't want to believe it and like was thinking, no, it has to be another way. This is what, what was going on in my head at that moment. It has to be another way. What killed me the most, Buffy couldn't even bring herself to look at him because she knew what she has to do and she just stared at that thing with like broken eyes and just crazy. I love the LGBTQ coming up metaphor when Joyce said, have you even tried to not be one? Or is this because you don't have a strong father figure? I don't accept it and things like that. It's really an outdated point of view that some parents have, so. Well, Spike, that moment when he thought that Jess was about to kill Buffy and like, I can't say that he cared. Mostly it was like one of these moments that were like Oh damn, he's really is about to kill her, like something like that But obviously his priority is Jew Which Makes me feel like Jew Jew doesn't really love him like the way he does Just like, I feel like Jew Treats him like a pet Like something she owns but like Spike, even if he did team up with the good guys in this episode, 
They sell bad vampire without soul and with a, a frankly weird kink. Plus he obviously hates and jealous fairly so since like he had been insulting him and like bullying him since he came back. Plus he was very jealous about like this whole connection that Drusilla and Jealous have. So you know, I totally can understand why Buffy took off. Her mom didn't accept her the way she is. She basically told her not to come back. She feels responsible for her friends getting hurt. She's expelled from school. She's wanted by police. And she's only 17 who had to kill the love of her life just before he gets his soul back. Like, literally this episode took everything from Buffy. It took everything from Buffy that, that gives her life a certain meaning. Her mom, her home, her school, that safe connection with her friends, Angel, her clear sense of right and wrong. She doesn't know what she's fighting for anymore. And like, if I were her, I would have took off too. That was such a freaking rough episode on Buffy. The thing is, she doesn't deserve it, like, she chose the world over herself and just, oh my god, just wanna make me cry. Such a freaking great character, especially it's a female character and very empowering, it's very empowering, like, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed my reaction, see you in another video, goodbye.